Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Quantrois Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm aquava and official part to you. May the coming year bring us joy, good health, prosperity. May everything that our heart desire be granted to us according to God's own purpose and timing. After this is another thing, Queen, we need to need to for four, a whole day for four, the deal for four. So today I'm sharing with you how to package your holiday treats that I have been sharing with you, the recipes that I've been sharing with you. This is what I typically do during the holidays for my friends and family and I thought I would share this with you. I hope this is not too late and even if this is too late for this year, hopefully you can do this in the coming years. So I have some cakes, chips, peanuts, shito, Quantrose Kitchen shito, yes I make my own shito, I have a shito brand some rainbow sauce and I'm going to package them. So what you see right here are some doilies. I have some parchment paper, food grade parchment paper that can be used as food wrapping. And I'm just gonna cut each one into two to wrap up the cakes. So I'm pretty much trying to have a band around the cake, something decorative to make it more festive and beautiful when you want to gift this out to somebody. And first of all, I'm just going to use this biggest twine. This is something simple that hopefully if you don't even have uh, ribbons at home, you might have this at home. So this is quite simple. So a doily or a packet, uh, wrapping paper and some twine, you just wrap this around and tie a bow. So I have to say I'm very terrible at tying bows and I'm going to be tying a lot of bows in here. So don't just even bother about that. I Hopefully you can tie better than me, but it still gets done. So this is done. I tied it and this is a very simple but elegant way to send out food gifts. And now I'm going to use a doily and a ribbon. So I place my cake in the center of the doily and I'm just trying to position it and since this doily is a little bit uh, the cake is a little bit shorter than the doily the length of the cake I'm just trying to tuck that part in and then you bring the edges together like this so you have this beautiful lacy like pattern sitting right on top of your cake and then you bring your ribbons around the center and then you tie your bow and like I said don't pay attention to my bow. I know it's funny, but it still gets done, you know. <laughs> Just imagine, you know, presenting this to your friend, you know. The cake itself is made with love. And then if you send it to somebody with this beautiful packaging, just imagine how special you make them, them feel, you know. You didn't just spend your time to bake, but you spent time to make this extra beautiful and special. And that to me is going to be very well appreciated, you know. Look at this. So I'm just going to cut the ends of the ribbon just like that. You fold it and then you cut. And then that way you're going to have a ribbon that has like a slit, a beautiful slit in it. And that's it. So this one is also done. And I'm going to be doing similar to all of the other cakes using the packaging paper, that the parchment paper and various kinds of ribbons and these ribbons i always get them from home goods at the end of the year like so december 20 So this ribbon is definitely one of my favorites. I really, really love the beautiful colors it has. And uh, for this year, I made for my friends and family this cake that I'm wrapping. I haven't had the chance to share the recipe with you yet, but I hope to share it. So it's actually orange cranberry rum cake. This is like a very festive cake. It has real rum in it, but when you bake rum, you know, or you bake the rum in the cake, the alcohol is all going to be evaporated and it's not alcoholic anymore but it has a beautiful beautiful rich taste and here is a piece i'm just munching on some as i <laughs> wrap and this is delicious very delicious so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish all these and i'm going to also show you how to make hampers 
uh, with some of the food. Very festive, huh? I love these. So beautiful. There we go. We are almost done wrapping. And just look at this red one. It is like velvety, very beautiful. The texture is just beautiful. It feels so good to the touch. And I'm going to wrap this one. I think it matches beautifully with the paper. And we wrap that and we're pretty much done with wrapping them. I have to say the cakes are wrapped with a uh, plain wrap. And so you could also put it in a plastic bag, like the kind that I put my bread in. I showed you in the uh, whole wheat bread video or any bag that you think is suitable and just put the band around it to make it beautiful and festive. Uh, I love this red one. So we're done wrapping the cakes and now I am going to go ahead and package a couple of hampers for our family members. So these I'm going to use this crate that I got from Home Goods. I think it's beautiful, very suitable to make a hamper. It comes already with cellophane and these fillers are also in and it even came with a bowl but I think I have bowls that are more suitable so I'm not going to use their bowl and I'm going to put some chips peanuts shito yes you know I have my own shito brand uh, very soon hopefully I will get it out to you all so that's my shito and I have some rainbow sauce there is a recipe for the rainbow sauce so pretty much everything that I'm packaging except for the shito and the cake but I have an other cake recipes as well so you could try that everything here I have recipes for and I'm just putting some chips, peanuts, shito, rainbow sauce, and a cake in here. And I forgot to put uh, the drink, the sobolo, in this one. But the next hamper that I'll make, you see I put a bisap in there. So I had to untie this later on and put it back in there. And so I'm going to uh, spread the cellophane. This came also with it. So for me, it was like, this is just amazing. For $8, you have everything you need. Even um, a bowl, if a ribbon to make a bowl, but I really didn't need that one because I had some. So that is a steal, I think. And so I'm just going to bring the cellophane all around my crate just like this and tie a bowl. And that's it. A simple, beautiful hamper with everything homemade. That is the beauty of it. That is, I always like to give the gift of food to the families. Even if I have to buy toys or other things for the kids, the food, that is my signature thing. Like, if I enjoy cooking that much, I think it's just logical that I should present stuff like this to my family and friends. And I think they appreciate it and they look forward to them every year. So this hamper is done. Beautiful, elegant, simple, and it's going to be very, very 
um, appreciate it when it gets to your family or friend, you know, family member or friend. So I'm going to put this aside and then we'll make the next one and we'll be all done. So this is the second hamper. It has the shito chips and everything. And yes, this time around, I remembered my drink that's Bisap hibiscus tea. And there's a recipe for that also here. And then I'll put my cake in, which I almost forgot. So in goes the cake. Wrap it up, tie it, and that is so done. Simple, easy, beautiful, thoughtful gifts for your family and friends. And trust me, they will really, really appreciate them. I hope you are able to try this. If not this year, for the coming years, just go out there at the end of the year sales and get all these rapid items at a steal. And then the following years, you don't even have to buy them at retail. That's what I do. And these, I know, are very, going to be very well appreciated. I hope you are having fun enjoying the company of family and friends. And I hope you are having your belly full. You are eating all those goodness and enjoying it. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.